Good morning, YouTube. JT here, Serenity Farms prepping. Are you feeling the inflation yet? I mean, after you spent your 16 cents from your July 4th soiree. Gas is up 50%. Food is skyrocketing well over that. Everything is going up. To take the words of a infamous trader, prices will necessarily skyrocket. Well, they are, intentionally. I just came from Harbor Freight. I had to go get some nails which 5,000 nails for my nail gun for 39 bucks. I'm good with that. So I wanted to get some nitrile gloves, five mil, seven mil. You know, I use them for the goats. I use them in the greenhouse. They're just nice to have around. They're in the infirmary. $17.99 for a box of 57 mil size large blue gloves normally $6.99 they're $16.99 $17.99 $18.99 for your 5, 7 and 9 mil Harbor Freight has signs posted that due to overwhelming demand the prices have gone up their sign also states that Harbor Freight's profit margin remains the same. Whatever that might be. Now I get Harbor Freight doesn't make the gloves, so they're probably paying a lot more to get them as well. The shelves weren't well stocked, but they weren't empty either. And I imagine what product they do have will stay on the shelves. I'm not paying $17 for one box of gloves. I will seek out other sources. But that is just an indication of how everything, because of this pandemic scamorama, is affecting your bottom line. Obviously, certain products yet haven't gone up. But everything else is going to go up intentionally. That is the products that are actually going to be available. But let's remember, nobody can get anybody to go to work making this stuff. Even in the foreign countries where we buy most of our stuff. Pedo Joe and his whispering video. His $1.9 trillion pay everybody to stay home so I can extort small business into raising the minimum wage. And then when they won't, having to shut down, which is the intent... There's nothing being made. I live in a very small area. The large city next to me has approximately 20,000 residents. Most of the restaurants have shortened their hours because they can't get anyone to work. Even when they are open, some places the staff is minimal so the service has been affected people around here are not holding it against the people that actually are showing up for work oh yeah there's a couple knuckleheads just like there is everywhere but most people realize that a lot of these 
businesses are short staffed. A lot of the libtards don't realize why they're short staffed. They need to go home and look in the mirror and that will give them their answer. But the inflation, your dollar is worth less, practically nothing, due to the magical money tree that the non-federal government, federal private banking reserve keeps printing and just throwing out there to keep the economy from collapsing until they're ready for it. This is unsustainable. We've known this for a long time, but since November, it's been ramped up big time for the great reset. Don't know exactly what kind of currency they're going to try and switch everyone to. Very likely the digital. I won't be part of that. So, who was it that just recently stopped giving out any money? They were involved in some big scam last year where all of their customers, anyone who'd done business with them, had been compromised and then they tried to lie about it say it didn't happen then they tried to lie about what they were doing about it it's not western union i'm, I'm sorry i'm drawing a blank i had it maybe it'll come to me but anyway they just froze a whole bunch of accounts you're gonna see that happen with just about every banking institution there is one day you're going to go in to get your money like at the start of the pandemic and they're going to say sorry you can only get two hundred dollars today or they're going to tell you you can't get any they're just going to shutter their doors so i have been doing some consulting with people that I value their opinions on this matter and I, based on my research, have my own strong opinion on what's coming. I will probably take everything I have out of my local credit union within the next day or two. Except for so two or three payments that I have for I'll leave enough in there to cover those for uh, three months because the last business day of every month my retirement check goes in and that can cover them anyway but it's just nice to have a little emergency reserve just in case but otherwise the rest of it substantial amount I'm taking out to put under my mattress <laughs> now I'm not gonna put it under my mattress but there's some preps and some other stuff that I've been hesitating to get that very shortly there is gonna be no opportunity for me to get those and I always try to practice what I preach I was just waiting to save up some to get these items rather than touching all that savings I had but time is of the essence and either way it will work out I buy it now good things happen in the next few months and then I can quickly build back my savings or shit goes really south I got what I needed and the rest of the cash that I have will be virtually worthless anyway I wonder
wonder how what you guys are thinking about the same thing like me I'm sure you try and follow everything that's going on as closely as you can to try and stay one step ahead of the deep state I you know my gut says get your money out and go do what you got to do and then part of me is like and I mean it doesn't build up any interest there anyway what it last year I had twenty five thousand dollars in there in one account for the whole year and got eleven dollars at the end of the year pretty soon they're gonna charge you to keep your money in there even though they're making money off your money so my head's telling me one thing my guts telling me something else I know in reality what I got to do and I'm dragging my feet and one of these days I'm gonna wake up and it isn't gonna make a difference it's all gonna be gone because the bank isn't gonna let me have my own money well what are you guys doing about it and how is inflation if it is yet affecting your daily lives that's all i got for now like share subscribe comment notification bell but for now jake d signing off